Hey everybody, welcome to Storytime with Max and John. I'm John. And I'm Max. We got a really cool episode for you guys today. Our good friend Kyle Turner, a Buffalo comedian, comes through. He talked to us a little bit about his time in the Navy. Uh, he crushed at his father's eulogy. Oh man, that was uh, that was a really good story. Because you don't see where it's going, but it no. was great. <laughs> but he killed it. Yes. And then uh, he also talked a little bit about saving the planet. <laughs> it's a really cool story. He talks, he's a really funny guy. And he also was a little fat kid once. It's very relatable. But uh, yeah, if you guys if you guys like what you see, like what you hear, um, you want to support the podcast, uh, we do have a link on the Anchor website. You can donate whatever you'd like. We'd appreciate it very much. You know, we put a lot of time and effort into these. We want to keep doing these, getting better as we go. Um, but yeah, uh, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. You could leave a review, which helps us a ton. Unless they're not five stars, then they hurt us. Please don't do then that. Go <laughs> <your son. laughs> if anything, rate, review, subscribe, pay us. I don't. Everything helps. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Tell your ma. Tell your dad. Tell your auntie. Tell somebody. Or if you don't have either of those, just make a tweet about it. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Enjoy the episode. You were pissing me on green every <laughs> day. The big ball of heat in the sky was too much. I thought there was a bear. Reality goes, yeah, fresco. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. What's up, everybody? Welcome. To Welcome to. Welcome to. Welcome to. Story time. Story time. Story time. What'd you do today, Kyle? I left work early to get ready for this. Oh, Did you? Man, why would you ever do that? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I didn't. Because you thought it was farther away because <laughs> yeah, yeah. the address was wrong. <laughs> like it's all the way down on the other block. Yeah, I took two buses to get here. You know I don't have a car. Do you get, because that's right by that fire hall. Is yeah. that not busy as shit over there? Yeah, yeah. It's just loud all the time. It's not as bad. I mean, remember, I, I just came from Brooklyn. Yeah. So I lived there for five years. So I mean... I'd hear, you know, people screaming at the top of their lungs at all hours of the night. Yeah. And once that stops bothering you, you could anything's fine. Yeah. Fire trucks are nothing. In my, when I was in Madrid, I lived across the street from a fire hall. And it, yeah, you like, you didn't really pay attention to it too much. But then during the pandemic, every day, I don't know if they did it here, but in most of Europe, every day at 6 p.m., you would go on your porch and clap for the, the <laughs> nurses and stuff because you were curing COVID. Well, they did that in New York. Um, <laughs> but the fire hall would put all the trucks out and turn all the sirens on. That's too much. It was every day at 6 p.m. for 84 days. That's why. Dude, it was insane. <laughs> it That's was truly, so it was truly one of the worst times of my life. Every day. <laughs> I get one, if they said one day. Like Saturday. The entire pan, nah, no. Oh, one like day once. the whole pandemic. And no. they're like, let's recognize them today. Dude, it was daily. The clapping was fine. Daily is ridiculous. Daily clapping was all right, but daily fire trucks. Like three full trucks and like a little guy, just all no. sirens on. The only time I really heard anything where the people rejoiced or showed that type of support yeah. was when uh, Joe Biden won. The presidency, oh, yeah. and they announced it, but it, you know, it, it it was not like the day after because of the whole count, thing. right? And they, uh, so it happened on like four p.m. on like a random day, <laughs> right. and I was sitting oh. in my apartment, and people clapping, and I thought it was the nurse thing, and I was like, "This is still going on. <laughs> We're still doing this." Yeah, I was like, "Dude, that's done, man. COVID's <laughs> over." It was like so right in the middle right. of COVID, right. still, but I was like, "I thought we were done with this," and uh, and then that, and I was like, "Ah, cool, okay." And then you went and stormed the Capitol. Yeah, well, you know, those guys look like they were more fun <laughs> than the other ones. <laughs> I don't like clapping, so. <laughs> Uh, so you were in the Navy. I was in the Navy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Slick transition. What'd you read? Transition one. <laughs> Earlier today, I was thinking of transitions, and I was gonna say, "So you grew up fat now." <laughs> <laughs> what did you do in the Navy? Uh, As a seaman, I was. I worked in navigation. Of the ship, very. Uh, That's why you found your way here, even with the wrong address. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know man. That's probably it. Yeah, <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> I, you know what's I? Yeah, I do navigation. You go, you know, you you start in one country, and they go, we got to get to this other country, and then you <laughs> right, we're here, take off, and you're there. We <laughs> yeah, gotta yeah. go there. Yeah. Well, good and thing there's an ocean in the way. What's crazy is you think the ocean, you just go all in straight lines, but you don't. You got to tack, right? Well, you got to what's around, that, right? 
What What's, do you, what'd you isn't say? Isn't tacking? Tacking's when you go like back and forth, isn't it? I don't know that. Oh, isn't that turpentine or whatever? Serpentine? Serpentine? Serpentine. Turpentine. <laughs> turpentine. Turpentine. <laughs> <laughs> no, tacking. Well, tacking, I only, to be 100% fair, the only reason I know tacking is from the Australia's Cup documentary on Netflix. Okay. It's where. I think it might just be for sailboats because you're not you're on a bigger boat. Yeah, I, I would say here because tacking is like I to was get the in air. the navy more than you, hundred <laughs> percent, and uh, I, I, I never heard that term. How? Now I could be wrong. I wasn't the best sailor. I didn't, you know, <laughs> kill Osama bin Laden. Do you have the little suit with the hat? Yeah, everyone gets the little suit. Do you wear it? Sometimes. Just you, that should be your gimmick on stage. <laughs> from now on, that's your gimmick on just stage. Little sailor boy, guy who's in the navy all the time. What kind of boat were you on? Aircraft carrier. Big boat. Big boat. Whoa. A lot of planes. <laughs> that makes sense. Top yeah. gun. <laughs> Given Top the name. Gun, yes. Maverick. How 100%. long is the boat? <laughs> My boat. I don't know if this is classified. Trying. <laughs> 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 we'll just do a long B boat. Oh, but we don't. Boat. We don't know. Okay, my boat. No, wait. We know how long they're in, like ports and shit. Yeah, they, like the ones down all different. In... Oh, all different. my boat was. Over a thousand feet long and under eleven hundred feet long. That's and awesome. then where was yours located? Longitude, <laughs> latitude. <laughs> what was the name? Headcap. Longitude um, and latitude, please. I was on the USS George Washington. Not classified. I can say that. That's fair. Okay. And uh, I, uh, we spent most of my time in Japan. Yeah. Yes. We were the first nuclear-powered aircraft in Japan Whoa. after the whole thing. Wow, that's cool. You know what I'm talking when about? When the things fell down, our the things. things? Back in the 40s. Oh, <laughs> you were alive in the 40s, bro? Yeah. Damn. I, I'm pretty good. Asian pretty well. <laughs> you just drink water. You guys are messing up here. It's no, this is water. It's just... Uh, it's, it's flavored water. water. Oh. You guys aren't sponsored by Liquid Death? Not yet. Could be. I'll, I'll, I'll take my shirt Death. off for a commercial. <laughs> I have sent an email. <laughs> <laughs> they did not answer. Uh, turns out you need more than 30 views. <laughs> oh. Well, we'll get them this time. Hey, we got more than that. Way more than that. Um, yeah, like double. Total. Double. Of all of them <laughs> combined. But how, because a, a girl I know is in the Navy, but I don't really understand what she does. Mm -hmm. What's the time on land versus time on boat? Like if you're stationed mm -hmm. in, I don't know, Tokyo. Yes. Or the wherever. Middle, the, the middle of Tokyo. <laughs> 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 the, the least seaworthy position to be in. Well, like, yeah, because I understand you're on the boat for probably the majority of the m mission, um, tour, what do you call it? Some deployment. Deployment. Uh, well, it's different <laughs> everywhere. Mission. If you're on, I get, it is a mission. It is a mission. Yeah. And you do have a mission. And people do call them tourists as well. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, so we were, all three yeah. were. Yeah, you're not told. No one's off here. <laughs> you know what I mean? But we're also not right. It wasn't like a scavenger hunt. Yeah. Then you would have been wrong. We yeah. all were in the same ballpark. I, we're on the same boat. <laughs> yes, we're all on the same boat. <laughs> um, if you're in like stateside, yeah, you the I believe the general uh, land to sea is like nine months out. Then you come back in for like a year and a half, two years. Oh, and so you might do one or two deployments in four years. Gotcha. I was in Japan. Where we were like, like the ready ship. I forgot what the term we used. So I was out like six months in three months, out four months in one month. Gotcha. So I spent most of my time on the water at sea fighting terrorism. And then in the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> yeah, no, South China Sea, actually. Isn't that one of like the roughest waters? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Sure, though, whatever makes me sound cooler to you and your listeners. <laughs> Kyle's a seaworthy gentleman. <laughs> Captain Phillips, Captain Kyle. <laughs> yes. Um, did you this come is across any pirates? Yeah, did you? No. No. Are not. there pirates in that part? Not that I saw. That's like Somalia, right? I, mean, I think they're more yeah, in like Indonesia. Yeah. yeah. Cuz they do the illegal fishing and stuff. Are pirates fishermen? <laughs> <laughs> Are they not? Do they not need to eat? I mean, who isn't a fisherman at that point, right? I mean, I was on the ocean. Who isn't a pirate? That's true too. What was I doing out there? <laughs> I was disturbing the just downloading the, 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 illegal the, movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, this is going to be a pretty dumb question, yeah. and we're just going to have to let it fly. Hmm. You did you go with the boat from America to Japan, or did you get to Japan and the boat was already there? I not a dumb question. Yeah, be easy on yourself, there, guy. I, I thought it was going to come out worse. <laughs> <to be laughs> no, fun. I I was in Norfolk, Virginia, when the ship was in Norfolk, Virginia. Oh, and then you so you and then we took it set from set, Norfolk. Set sail. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's good. Set sail. You guys are basically <laughs> with me here. You're seeing. How did here. you get there? Where'd you get the valor? Here we go. <laughs> I left Norfolk, Virginia, and we were going. We we went uh, around South America, but not totally around. We didn't go around like the Horn. We went through say, the that's... Straits of Magellan. Yeah, and uh, and then came up the coast, and then my ship set on fire. Whoa! <laughs> and then we uh, we went to San Diego for three we're gonna, months. We're just gonna graze over that. <laughs> yeah, just a small big fire, <laughs> just a small fire that uh, very minor made major national fire. news around that... the world. What did you do? <laughs> I mean, I didn't do anything. You're a navigator. Hey, hey, don't put this on me, man. I'm not a fire setter. I was a navigator. What happened? I don't know. Is they, it classified? I think so, and it makes me a little nervous to say it That's again. Fair. That's no, fair. I don't know. No, you said it was national news. I it it happened. Yeah, I don't know how where it did started. It happen? Off the coast of uh, South America, <laughs> right? Right oh, off the, the coast of like uh, Chile or Chile. Chile. What's Chile. what's that like? Whoa. Being stuck on a boat and like it's on fire. Being on fire. <laughs> no, just like no, <laughs> that being on fire, but also like there's in the water of the everywhere ocean. <laughs> in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, isn't that weird? Um, no, I loved it. Yeah, I okay. loved it because uh, everyone you knew was on the ship. Sure. So it's okay. not there yeah. was no no you know now people I think the word is FOMO. Pe- yeah, you have that people are like, oh my god, my friends are out. I have to work. I'm missing everything. There was none of that. You're just like, well, there's nowhere else I could possibly be. Yeah, I'm here. You're right. And I you can. know what? <laughs> you saw the fire just as close as everyone <laughs> yeah, else did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. You, yeah. There's not really. You didn't miss like, out on that yeah. one. No. No. <laughs> right. It's like, oh, those people are downtown. Like there is, there is no downtown. There's no. You're all there. They're like, oh, he's on the north end of yeah. the boat, and I'm on the and south maybe end. Maybe that's only because I was, you know, I joined at 19, so I was in. In that age of where like you're always trying to like do something do something yeah. and there you just couldn't and it was kind of relieving <laughs> being yeah. like i all my friends are right here all my friends are <laughs> stuck on this boat with me yeah so I, all yeah, of like, your friends from basic training went on the same no 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 we all everyone split up oh, okay. you go all different places That's i loved it you know what was the best uh being out on the ocean at night that feels like the freakiest part, actually. Yeah, terrifying. Because we sure. had our friend, you look down and you see nothing, right? You see not pitch black. Yeah, I've never, ex- you know, people who maybe go camping deep into the woods, they experience this, but I had never seen like can't see hand in front of your face, black. pitch black, yeah. no lights whatsoever, and that was like when I first experience that like heart racing where right. you're like oh my god am I, am I lost forever right now right. like no, no one can hear me scream <laughs> yeah yeah because <laughs> that's our, we had our friend torsten um on and he did a trip with the suny maritime from new york city to but he, he worked on the boat. he worked on like, like he, he was worked a, he wasn't like yeah, he wasn't a student yes, yes, yes. um but it was from like new york to basically turkey and then back mm-hmm. and it was yeah. yeah very similar like it was just like but it was wasn't night. it like four months or something yeah because real, it's it like he's quick. like it's a two-week trip that they just like they'd spend you know a week <laughs> letting one guy do just like, doing semicircles because <laughs> they're learning how to sail <laughs> yeah. the boats and everything okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just doing fucking donuts <laughs> in the atlantic <laughs> ocean um how long if there was no fire how long would it take should it have taken to get from Norfolk to what so you stopped along the way, Japan. right? Yeah, yeah. I stopped the first the first place I ever went was Rio de Janeiro. Do you stop at bases along the way? No. Or you just stop ports. Oh just okay. any place where they could, you know, we do could either anchor stuff. and do boat stuff. You right. know what I mean? And you're wow. So yeah, I went to Rio de Janeiro, then Valparaiso, Chile or what was it? Chile. 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 Yeah. And then fire, San Diego, <laughs> Guam, Japan. Wow. And then after that, then three years of hitting all of Asia. What was your favorite place that you stopped in? 
Uh, probably, man. Was Singapore your... was pretty crazy. That's cool. Singapore, Singapore, I've heard Singapore is wild. Yeah, Singapore is nuts. Yeah, it was. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to. I, I can't say too much stuff on this podcast about the places that I went and what I did there. But uh, that's what this podcast is for. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> he's like, you well, know, you never can't know. Get arrested here. You never know when. It, yeah, you never know well, what's my, classified. My, my girlfriend <laughs> might listen. You know, <laughs> you know support. And then all of a sudden, I don't have a girlfriend, and I'm living here with you and your wife. So if you want that, I can spare go bed on up. with you know these what, man? There is a spare bedroom, and we have a dog. I'm just saying. Um, what was your least favorite place? North Korea wasn't. That checks out. <laughs> that seems across the board. No, Sounds about I, right. I think, uh, I think uh, Brisbane, Australia really? sucked. Why? I don't know. It was just boring. All right. It was when it was just kind of boring. Did you ever feel like... When you went off ship, did you have to wear the uniform or could you wear like no? But clothes? they made us dress like nerds. <laughs> they they almost they I, they said like, hey, don't wear your uniform. You might be a target. So That's what like, I was gonna yeah, say. Yeah. Like, are so you... like yeah, like the Philippines, like dangerous. Yeah, like, especially but, in Japan, they they'll yeah. never forget. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that thing. They, uh, yeah, they were the first never forget, and then we took that from them. Culture appropriation there, Man, but. That's... That's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> We're right past the ten minute mark. <laughs> now he's just John's letting him fly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just you catch your time. <laughs> I I Light was always <laughs> I was always like, okay, you're getting to this the Philippines. Let's say yeah, you went to you know Manila. You get up and they're like, hey, don't wear your uniform because you might be a target. Sure, and I'm like. You're about to drop off 6,000 Americans. <laughs> that's way more than I expected. Yeah, that's how many people are on the I ship. I was going to say maybe 300. <laughs> yeah, but everybody... Oh, no, it's like a city. It's like 6,000 oh people but, on this ship. But everyone gets off at the same time? You don't, like, take shifts? No, no, no. Some people got to stand up. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, on the water. <laughs> it's a big <laughs> yeah, Someone's got to watch. Because last gotta... time it set on fire. Yeah, yeah, right? And that's did, when we were on it. Did they validate or... <laughs> <laughs> It was, man, I, I remember, like, we went to, uh, when we went to Rio, uh, Rio de Janeiro, they were like, they were like, all right, <laughs> like, you know, we get, like, a brief. Yeah. Uh, just about the city, about the culture, what to do, what not to do. Because, yeah. like, in Singapore, like, straight up, if you'd, like, spit on the ground, you can it's get, bad. like, caned. In the Philippines, too, right? Yeah, I mean, anywhere. They could do anything out there, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To those countries. But, like, a lot of those, like, Again, the Philippines, Rio de Janeiro, uh, Valparaiso, they were like, hey, uh, don't drink the water. Don't go too far into town. In Rio de Janeiro, they're like the Vavillas or whatever they are. They're like, don't go up there. And I'm like, why are you bringing us these places? This is insanely dangerous. Who wants to go somewhere (laughs) where I'm not supposed to be? Yeah, you're, they're, again, you're like they're, they're like, hey, have fun. Don't drink the water. You'll die here. And you're yeah. like, maybe you shouldn't bring us here. Maybe man. you should give us a little bottle of water <laughs> yeah, before got, you kick me yeah, off. They this give boat. us a little like four ounce on the way out. They're like, make this last all day. You're like, great, man. Can't wait. What's to up? You're be in here. a subtropical climate. Here's a little water <laughs> yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah. And in Rio, they were like strict. They were like, stay on. Um, fuck, what's that? The beach sidewalk. There. Oh, oh, the big, the, no, the I main bit, Coca Cabana, right? Yeah, no. Or is that a, that's not a, that's a, I think a bar. Coca Cabana is like a, uh, <laughs> like a, like a <laughs> rascal flat. Coca <laughs> Kokomo? Margarita Co- Co- You know how Margarita Coca Cabana is an old club, an old comedy club. That, no. That's where Rickles used to play in New York. Anyways, whatever the main <laughs> beach was in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, they were like, stay on that beach. You can go one block in. <laughs> yeah. Six thousand people. They were like, "You can go to that beach and go one block. That's in. a full Don't go beach. anymore." That- I do. I re- so when we were in Rio, <laughs> you're just in like a suit. <laughs> that straight up sounds like anyone who's ever gone to Mexico or Jamaica. They're like, "You can stay yeah. here, but don't go anywhere." Yeah. <laughs> I went. So my friends and I, one night we were in Rio. Yeah, and I, we we had a curfew too. Sure. Right. So we were like, well, "You're 19." Yeah, yeah. So me and three of my friends, we uh, we were like, "Hey." Let's go 
to where we're not supposed to go. Let's how, go how fun two blocks be? in. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need to get to the HSBC bank over there. <laughs> it's right They had an there. HSBC. I yeah, did think that was pretty cool. He's in Rio. No, this is in Rio. Oh, Rio. Oh. They had an HSBC. I thought that was pretty cool that I could go to a home bank. I wish I would be cool if there was like a citizens bank. <laughs> Yeah, that's true, too. No, there's a First Niagara credit <laughs> yeah, union yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> not, not to get distracted, but I once got ripped on, like, quite a bit because we got to California, and there was one, and I was like, there's a key bank there! And they were like, yeah, cool. It is so what? Cool. And I was like, no, it's awesome because I don't have to... There's yeah. no fee, <laughs> no fee <laughs> man. Okay, continue, no, sorry. Okay. Um, so we went, uh, we were in Rio, and we were like, all right, man, let's get, let's get, like, a cab and be like, hey, take us to, like, real nightlife in Brazil. Oh. And uh, so we get a they cab. Party. Yes. So we we get a cab. We're hammered, by the way. None sure. of us are sober. This sure. is it's uh, it's dark. You You're know. making three blocks decisions. Yes. Yeah. So Naturally. I get in, and it's me. I said three of my friends. I meant there were three of us. It was me and two of my friends. I sit in the middle of this cab. Yeah. They sit here. Sure. Right. Obviously, Just on like either this. side of me. Just like <laughs> they this. Sat on my Just lap. like much closer. <laughs> obviously, and uh, um, we get in, and you know. We all look at each other and we're like, hey, listen, this is dangerous. Everyone just keep their head on a swivel, right? Just yeah. be aware of your surroundings. <laughs> just Two minutes later, they're asleep. I'm <laughs> the and I'm alone. I'm on night watch <laughs> by myself. Yeah, and, you're, yeah, yeah. and you're hammered going. <laughs> yeah. I mean, literally, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm on night watch alone. Charlie's surrounding <laughs> us. <laughs> so, so, I, so now we're in. I'm there. They're asleep. Sure. And I'm like, all right, keep it on. I notice the driver has his four ways on. And he's just driving, that's and I'm like, I'm like, that's not great. <laughs> that's because we're not in s- traffic, we're not in slow traffic. You know what I mean? Like, there, you just have them on. Yeah. So I'm like, that's not a good thing. I, I to go, just I have go, them yeah, on. I go. That seems a little odd. Maybe signaling to somebody, right? I'm not lying. So I'm sitting there again, and <laughs> one minute later, this other guy just gets in the cab. This guy's buddy gets in the cab, and I go, hey, you guys got to get up. <laughs> <laughs> I got something's going on. And it's, but they wake up and they don't know. They're like, what are we here? I'm like, no, this guy, I think this guy's trying to kill us and his friend is helping. <laughs> How about, I go, this, I think something's happening here. So right away, they're like drunken stupor. They're like, I'll fucking kill you, man. I'm like, dude, no, not how I <laughs> should have left you. I did yeah, not yeah. wake you up to do this. Yeah, and they're like, turn off your four ways. Or it, right? So the guy's like, all right, turns off the four ways. It's like, all right, my friend's already in the car. And, like, just, and now we're on the highway. Yeah. So I'm like, well, what? We can't be like turn up, turn around. Yeah. You're on a highway. Yeah. I have. Wh- this guy could just be like, no. Nah, he could be no. taking you anywhere. So we go. We we drive. We finally get off. Again, I have no. I don't know how deep I am into Rio. This is 2007, by the way. I have a fucking razor flip phone. <laughs> it's not like I can <laughs> pull out my no maps. International calling. Either. No, I I can't pull out maps and be like, okay, well, here's where we navigator. gotta be. Yeah, but not there. You know, just- Only ocean. <laughs> I know the ocean roads, man. It gets fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I respect that. <laughs> he chose one thing and he stuck to it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't sign up for the roads. I lose signal okay? in tall buildings, okay? <laughs> so so we get off the highway. Yeah. And uh, now, we're, again, we're just in a neighborhood. Sure. And, and Where are you? You're supposed to be going clubbing? That was the idea, yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 okay. And uh, so we turned down an alley. Which, sure. like a movie, dark at the end, one light, and I. So and it's we, you, two guys that are semi asleep, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and two people you don't know <laughs> yes. in a foreign country, in a foreign country, <laughs> with and a so, razor cell phone. So like, yes, in a, a old razor cell phone, yeah. And so look, we look at each other as you would in that yeah. situation. You go, all right, like here's what happens. It's, it's a fight but, or flight. Yeah, we're just kind of like connected. We go, listen, if this guy fucking gets out, we have you hit him, and we're running. Like, right? you just like, that's what has to happen. Meanwhile, just like through this, through this entire thing, this poor guy, did he speak English? Yeah, we talked to him. No, uh-huh. I mean, it was broken. This Sorry. guy wasn't speaking this like guy, you and I. This guy's just like, yo, these three Americans, they want to go fucking party. I'm going to take yeah. them to the best goddamn club. Oh, there's Steve. Let's get Steve in the car. Yeah, yeah. They're ready to just <laughs> end their shit plotting his death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 100%. And they're just like, yo, we're going to take these guys out. It's going to be you fucking can't, sick. Listen, you can't risk it. <laughs> no, sure, sure, <laughs> that's sure. There. Um, so you're in the alley. So, so we get to the end of the the alley, make a left, at just so many clubs uh, everywhere. So just, so just he, he took you to the promised land. Took us exactly where we wanted to go. <laughs> we stop in the middle of the street, 
And he's <clears> like, we're here. And we both look. We all three of us looked out the door and saw the biggest, meanest Brazilian security <laughs> guard. And we went, "We fucked up, man. Just take us back." <laughs> Call it. Uh, yeah, I was like, "Nothing good's gonna happen here." <laughs> Bare minimum, I have a great time and get an STD. Yeah. Worst case, I die. Yeah. I go. There's Worst nothing case, that's gonna happen to where park. I don't. Yeah, I go. I'm never going to have a a really. Great experience. They didn't tell you to go only one block in because it's dangerous. They were just like, these are a bunch of fucking wusses. Yeah. <laughs> They're yeah, not going to want to go into these clubs. No, yeah. You're, you're concerned with that. Meanwhile, the guy's like, yeah, we're here. And you're like, we were going to kill you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm real sorry, <laughs> man. Yeah. <laughs> I found this machete back here. And yeah, you I know. Were right. <laughs> That's what kept going through our heads after we were talking. That's I was, horrifying. And I lit- I, my friends and I were like, I mean, they're known for the machete thing. <laughs> you can't risk it, man. <laughs> There's a reason I said machete. Yeah, <laughs> everyone knows. That's wild. So, but, uh, so then we just went back to the beach, and we were like, that was stupid, and a waste of a, however much money we gave them and their money. Yeah. Which may have been our money. I don't remember. But, <laughs> I, uh, but that was it. That's wow. insane. Rio was fun. That was my first port ever. And that was did, fun. You, did you get like a postcard or something? Kyle's first port. <laughs> 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 like a stamp. <laughs> I, uh, no, no. I wish I did, though. Did you, you go it. through customs? No. Right. You no, just kind of no, got no. off the boat. Uh, yeah, we must just have some kind of loophole. I think, gotta I be, think right? it it's got to be because up. you're just like, you're just there for, you're there for a the certain day amount of time. I guess you got to, I mean, by the time you're in the military, you're pretty much trusted that you're uh, <laughs> part of the... Maybe by America. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know about all the all the countries. <laughs> There's definitely a few places that you're not trusted. Yeah. Well, well you're yeah, more no, feared yeah. than trusted. Big stick. Yeah. Well, I tell, when I went to Japan, I told you I was the first nuclear ship there. Yeah. And uh, they protested us. But there's yeah, no shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, though. <laughs> they were so nice. Is that too. where your hair's going? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were. They were. I might have some disability on my head. I can. I, I'm a normal functioning person, but my hair is missing. I'm like, I'm gonna need a few grand. A well, I saw. Money. I'm well, uglier. What was it like a few months ago? All those like Camp Lejeune things, because like for 40 years, people were training on this Air Force base that just had extremely tainted water. And there's a big sense. class action suit. You're gonna yeah, like. Yeah. Were you or a loved one stationed on the USS? George Washington. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't deny it, man. I mean, we had because we were going to a foreign country and visiting all these foreign ports. I got like nineteen vaccines. Sure. Well, and like, that's, yeah. when I went to Ecuador, I had to get a yeah. bunch of vaccines. And then we t- I got like six anthrax shots, and I was like, that shit was Whoa. for like two years. Yeah. And I'm uh, st- I'm getting sick, and it, that was like throughout my four years, they were like, you gotta go get your anthrax shot. I was like, another. Yeah. I kept on. I literally asked the doctor. I go. I got a couple already. Am I good here? Like, I think You're I'm like, okay. I'm already their biggest fan. I don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've seen him. <laughs> Look. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Yeah. Anthrax isn't good, right? No. I don't fuck you I up. mean, the band? I wasn't not a fan like, of the music like either. Anthrax. It was okay, but uh, okay. the substance, definitely not good. Not a good no. deal. It, it's, I think it's like a... Volatile. It's like, even if you open an envelope and it has it in it, it's like... Instantly, you br- you breathe it in. You're having a bad day. Yeah, like yeah. you're you're dead. I think it's soon. like a rabies situation where there's like you can you only have like a ten it's hours to get the cures. Oh, <laughs> I also don't know that. Yeah, I watched yeah. uh, I watched a documentary about that whole anthrax attack. Have you so. had COVID yet? Yeah, I don't. Oh. I can't. You got stop all those fucking it. vaccines. I get it. So he's much. like, I have it right now. I don't I feel know. Great. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Uh, no, I've gotten. Uh, Smallpox, you get smallpox shot. I, yeah, I think when I was, I a think kid. you get it when you're a baby. No, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. you're older. He's thirty six. Five, five. Sorry, five. Five. <laughs> much, you're you're only three years older. I'm than young me. enough though that it is a difference because there I. Um, so you have a scar? No, because you get it when you're a baby. Correct. Oh, uh, see, yeah. I have a. I everyone on my ship had to get it. I was gonna say everyone I know who's like thirty five. And around thirty five has the the scar, and then yeah. anyone who's like under thirty doesn't have a scar. Yeah, it was I'm funny. I'm thirty two and I don't have a scar. Yeah, I'm pretty See? sure I got it as a baby. Yeah, you are might we, have been are like we mixing up like uh, no small. It's a little divot like in your arm, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah. I don't think anyone else got that. 
Or no. maybe it's new. No, no, no. It's that's why it's like eradicated because of the vaccine. It's a vaccine, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Except for like in the third world. Yeah. Well, I went there. That's why they gave it to us. I yeah. Guess. Well. But they, uh, yeah, that was crazy because that's, uh, if you don't know, you get it and then it bubbles up and you got to yeah. keep it covered for like two weeks. That's oh. why he's got to do it. And if you don't, if you don't, it literally spreads like, and then you, your arms covered in boils. Yeah. Which, Oh, they actually gave you smallpox. They didn't give you the vaccine. They gave you smallpox, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, all right, here we go. <laughs> They're like, you're in for a wild ride, my yeah. friend. No, there's, yeah. uh, there's a guy I work with that he um, he is still in the Peace Corps. I don't know. I think it's a Peace Corps. And like, so for COVID, you know, he had to go to New York City. And he's like, for months, he was just removing bodies. That was what they yeah. were paid to do. And uh, I was talking to him about it, and he's like, yeah, dude, uh, I got the military COVID shot. Yeah, yeah. Very different from <laughs> your COVID shot. <laughs> he's like, they don't give you a shot to fight it. They give you a shot to get it. Yeah. No, well, they gave I, him yeah. smallpox. <laughs> exactly. I got, I got mine at the VA, so I got whatever that is. <laughs> Just some water. <laughs> a little saline. Yeah, well, that's when I went to Ecuador... I got one. I only I only needed one round of everything because I was only going to be there for like 14 days, mm -hmm. and I didn't have to do the full cycle. Like when I, if I got the first round at the right time, it would protect me, and then I could finish it when I get back. So I got like one round of TB, one round of a couple of the Heps, and mm -hmm. like one round of something else. And then they were like, "Do you want to get the malaria vaccine?" It's like you can either get the vaccine as a shot or you can take pills when you're there. Mm. And I was like, what are the side effects? And she goes, you might have seizures for the rest of your life. And I was like, you know what? I might just risk that one. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. wild. Yeah, they I gave didn't you mind. smallpox. They, well, the smallpox, insane, yeah, that dude. was because they do the whole like 50 dots in a circle yeah, yeah, thing, yeah, right? Yeah. And, but when I was in, I also don't know what else I got because in, in boot camp, they literally just <laughs> they definitely gave you, you everything. Yeah. Oh, then they just like hit you, right? Yeah. Yeah. You just go. Yeah. When you join you, the military, you. you have no choice. You give your, you no. just have to. Yeah. That's what made it funny. All those, uh, all those kids, like the military made it mandatory. Yeah. To get the COVID vaccine. And all those people got discharged I'm, because oh, they, yeah, they didn't yeah. want to get it. And I was yeah. like, what about the other 90 you got? <laughs> what yeah. about your arm? Now, just because punctured. you know what this one is, you're so upset about <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, you that, got all of them. That dude I was talking to, he, he said that, like, no, you did, you had to get it unless you played the religious card. Yeah. Or card. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, and some people got to stay. Some people still don't have it, but they're yeah. like, it's a religious thing, so we can't touch it. But we'll get you later. <laughs> like, yeah, what yeah. are these Just days? <laughs> You'll forget. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you have that pudding today? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you like it? Um, both small, right? Though on the inside. No. Really? I feel like I'm too Nasty. tall. For Dude, that he boat. said oh. six thousand people. Yeah. Like the hallways and shit. Though. No, the the hallways. Uh, they're tiny. You fit in a couch down that hallway. Hmm. Probably not. How tall are you? Six two. Do you fit in the bunk? No. You're a little bent. You no, know, I I'd always keep one foot out. Yep. It's my weather foot. <laughs> Regulate temperature. <laughs> you know I what I mean? But no, I, I did not fit. I would have one. I would have one knee bent. Everyone always just they hit my foot when they were by like they'd run into it at night. Yeah. <laughs> I just figured Got dude, one foot was always on the floor, so you <laughs> always knew where you were on the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> at, any, at any given time, you're like he keeps a glass yeah, of water. Okay, I know exactly where we are. <laughs> yeah. So when you're you, I'd, I'd like to go back to that just real quick because you said ocean. You think you just go straight across, and then mm -hmm. I said the tacking thing, and then we got up in on tangent. What do you mean you can't just go straight across? I got you know. There's like uh, it's like planes. Some is it yeah. not super deep? Yeah. The the Earth rotates. <laughs> now we're just saying stuff. <laughs> Shit. Water. The sun and the it's moon. These guys are in the sky. <laughs> what These guys you? are flat earthers. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the edge of the world? <laughs> um, Did you fucking see it? Did you sail off the edge? Come on. <laughs> are you part of the conspiracy? <laughs> are you fucking part of it? Did you uh, see the wall? I, um, what are you avoiding? Oh, no. You just, I forgot the question. And I was like... <laughs> 
I don't think I saw Icebergs? the edge of the world. Like, in my head, I, go, no, I mean, I saw pretty far. <laughs> I got on the binoculars, and we got some military-grade binoculars. I saw pretty far. Um, no, you can't, like, it's not some territory you can't go into. Oh, that okay, <laughs> that makes sense. I thought you were like avoiding like rocks. Max no, is saying yes, that's true too. What? Oh, well, like in like near the ports, right? No, no, no. There's like there's like small like underwater islands that you just can't you you can't go over. You can't go near. Bullshit. <laughs> I'm I. That was no, my I, whole I job. <laughs> <laughs> my whole job. There were times where we literally had to go. That's wild. Because there was an underwater something, mountain, I, ocean, whatever. Or, I just uh, want to point yeah. out that I'm fairly certain that Max is over here concerned with why you guys weren't traveling in the same <laughs> style as the Muppets, where they draw a straight line <laughs> <laughs> and they just fast travel. Well, I just figured, like, the Pacific Ocean's deep. Yeah, man. <laughs> I understand how you can get there. <laughs> I'm not calling you dumb. I provided the info, and it seems like you still don't believe me. That's the part I have the problem with. <laughs> it's oh. also crazy how many other ships you see. It blew was... my mind because you're like, well, the ocean's big. Yeah. Right? right? I'll never see anybody ever. And then you're like, oh, there's Steve. what's that fight fucking doing <laughs> out here? And it's just like a little boat. And you're like, aren't we in the middle of the ocean? <laughs> aren't we not near anything? <laughs> yeah, right literally. We're like, I'm not, we're hundreds of miles. And there's like a little boat and a guy just fishing off. And you're like, he's like, crab. We're <laughs> here for crab. Good <laughs> luck, man. Pirate. He's a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is, are there, um, like, like um, <clears throat> big truckers have like the shorthand on the CB radio and stuff. Yeah, do boats have that? Uh, is, I feel like radios. No, no, no. Like the <laughs> hey, <it's... laughs> no, dude. What's up, radios? <laughs> <laughs> no, like the hey, it's Big Hog coming in tight oh, on the US ninety. Please no, don't. No, no nickname. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. You got it. He, he you didn't like. He didn't like that. Blew out all your <laughs> listeners' fucking brains. <laughs> He'll dude. edit it. He'll edit it. Yeah, you can't edit it. Oh god. <laughs> He'll just, um, just mute just me. Do me a favor and look at the screen right now. <laughs> it's, it's Do you see it? It's a big white line. He'll just be, he'll mute me on that part. <laughs> just subtitle it. <laughs> so uh, do they not do that? Or is it no, more? they just you just call each other by your ship. Oh. Um, if you had to communicate with a different ship, a non-military ship, yeah, they would have a name. Sure. So you call them by their name. Gotcha. English. Me, yeah. All. The- <laughs> You can't tell. We have fun. I thought I was doing all right with my accent. <laughs> Kyle, it's, uh, you know, from Wales. Yeah. Um, no, because airlines, all the flight crew mm-hmm. speaks English and all the pilots speak English because it's the working language of the flight. Mm-hmm. Is it the same with? No. Maritime. No. No. Sometimes, I mean, again, sometimes you're dealing with like a fishing boat. Right. Just some dude. So they're just some guy out there, and you got to figure it out. You got to figure it out. And then, you know, there were translators on the boat. Okay. So, like, you could communicate with them. Now, when, when that happens, do you, like, automatically have to – is the is the protocol, like, treat this as a threat, figure out what's no. going on <laughs> before we clear it kind of thing? Or are they, like, it's a little boat. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> they're I think just it was a more, little boat. I think it was more of that of it's a little boat. <laughs> it's uh, what you know what I mean. Like I know the the thing about the pirates is, but it's like, what are they gonna do? <laughs> you're looking at a boat with like fifty well, fighter jets, and you're like, yeah. what's the best I'm gonna get out of this here? I feel like of all the ships, <laughs> at least to rob one. the one with the guns pointing at you is the least favorable. Yeah, for sure. Because like the Captain Phillips boat was just like it's just a cargo ship. And yeah, they had like a handgun on board. Yeah, and, and <laughs> you th- have those have like jets. those have like. 15 to 20 people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's it. But it's you, not you, crazy. You apparently have 6,000. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> they could have got on. You apparently have, have the town nice. of Elma. We, yeah. <laughs> we would have been like, it's crazy you got on this ship. You just want to be here for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's it. You would have been like, that's kudos to you, man. We got, got up here. We got food. <laughs> <laughs> you want to watch the planes go? Yeah. 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 We'll get you in one. Did man. you want to see the inside? <laughs> 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 give him a give him a uniform. He's in the navy now. This guy got all the way out Welcome. here. That's pretty good. Were you on the bridge? I was. That was my job. That's cool. Yeah, way cooler. I was very lucky with that. Sure. Yeah, I you got could, I, some been. people legit didn't see the sun for like thirty days. We were out to sea, 
and then they'd get out. And, you know, I, mean, I was outside every that day. That can't be like healthy. Healthy no. mentally. No. <laughs> no, no, no. They always looked dirty and pale. They were usually <laughs> talking to themselves. Uh, they're yeah. just, they're, they're just <laughs> squinting the entire time. No, I got to be outside all the time. That was great. That's cool. That hey, man, how you doing? Yes, how I'm doing. <laughs> how are we doing? I don't know how, how I'm doing. doing. Very vampire-ish of them. Any good food while you're out? No, I just was trying to get drunk. I it was my, it's my one of my biggest regrets in life. At least you're honest. <laughs> I just I mean, dude, I was 19 in these countries, right. 19, 20, 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only I would step off you the had ship. The government paycheck coming. Let's do it. And you can't spend it. Right. You're in the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> and then you'd get to these 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 ports where they're like 400 uh, you know, rubles. And you're like that's are, is, four dollars. Yeah, it's literally like you go to the Philippines and you're like this sandwich is 17,000 of their money. And then it's like a dollar seventy of yeah. hours, and you're like, yeah. I'll just yeah. buy the town. <laughs> you know what? You could have probably bought one of the islands that you were not allowed to sail over. That's because true. Who wants an island that's underwater? Not a lot of people. There is a there is a uh, so there's a group of islands <laughs> <that> off <laughs> the Philippines. <laughs> it's What's no, an you got to live up to the. Uh, I always do, man. I always do. <laughs> there's a group of islands <laughs> off the Philippines that like. Are, some are like insanely tiny, like yeah. twelve foot, and sometimes they're underwater and whatnot. But there's a island that is claimed by like multiple countries, like China, Russia, the Philippines, and they will go to this island, plant a flag, yeah, leave. Another country will come over a little while later, remove the flag, remove the flag, put their <laughs> flag, and they just keep doing that. And it's like I read that on Wikipedia. That's like Greenland. So Greenland is controlled by the Danish, and other countries really want it because it has good access to the Arctic Circle and everything. But Greenland, as long as there is a sled dog team in constant motion around the perimeter of the island, it is unable to be invaded, and it's under Danish control. Are those dogs mean? Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, I got Whole armies. <laughs> Dude, I got one upstairs. We can ask him. Guns. <laughs> the dogs just go, no, no. <laughs> Not now. The dogs have guns. <laughs> everybody know. Everybody's seen snow snow dogs, right? Yeah, we've Cuba, all, you just got to bite their ear. Good, <laughs> you know how you haven't seen Cuba Gooding Jr. in a while? <laughs> <laughs> he's in Greenland. He's still. Yeah. He's really <laughs> good. He's really good at it now. Now, who made that rule? The Danish. Because <clears throat> they control Greenland. Greenland is Danish. If Never. you're born in Greenland, you have a Denmark. But there's not pep. really a... Because you could just say, oh, it's on the other side of the country right now. You can't invade. I don't know. As long as it's, as long as it's going. But who's really listening to a country named after a pastry? Greenland? Seriously. No, the Danish. Danish. Oh. Greenland. <laughs> no. I'm not going to lie. For a second, I was like, Greenland. It's <laughs> <laughs> maybe a smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They're Danish people. They're all pastries. John went to Italy. Go somewhere. I don't know. Go somewhere. Um, Those people know. are all pasta. But you shit your pants <laughs> in the <lady>, right? <laughs> you got me. <laughs> so I, was trying to, I was trying to segue, and you got me. Um, but you, we asked you for some stories and shit. Yeah. And you said, and this is shit. all you came with. This is <laughs> <actual> shit. <laughs> you said you shit your pants in front of the captain? Ladies no. and gentlemen. Well, te- kind of, yeah, technically, <laughs> I guess. He didn't know. <laughs> I didn't announce it. I didn't you don't sh- normally <laughs> announce you shitting your pants. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> yeah. I got to go. <laughs> I uh, I don't know. Shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of something like military, like a, we got a code brown in the, in the vessel. <laughs> yeah, a real-life poop deck. <laughs> real-life poop deck. Clean up on aisle me. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I so I ate. Um, this happened multiple times. Not the shitting of the pants, but naturally in the I navy, I had a problem. <laughs> yeah, I liked it. I, it wasn't a problem. I just kept doing it. You know, um, I was just in these tropical places, and I wanted my pants <laughs> to be hotter. There was a. Uh, the food on the ship isn't great, as you can imagine. It's it you're not getting out. five star food. How many uh, stars would you give it? Uh, like zero, <laughs> zero stars whatsoever. It's like the shit in the bags that they peel open. and No, no. 
No, not that bad. We're not. Uh, we're better than the army. We're not because we didn't join the army. <laughs> we were smart. We're smarter. You went. I went. I went to the recruiter's office, and uh, this is a fun uh, Navy story. You want to hear this one? No, John. I'd love to. Cool. I, when I was joining the military, <laughs> I was uh, I was fat at the time. Yeah. And so I went. Uh, I went in, and at first I went to the army. This is 2006 now, so we're talking like height of the Iraq War. Yeah. And uh, they're taking anybody. You could go in there with, like, no eyes, a foot on your face. Well, weapons of mass destruction. Yeah, so they needed everybody. <laughs> That's what they call them on the basketball <laughs> court. Uh, that was good. That's how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. That's been story time. We'll see you yeah. next week. John's going to edit out all of our good jokes. <laughs> yeah. He's going to, well, you're going to say it, but it's only going to be on him, and he's going to mouth over it. <laughs> Weapons of mass destruction. I said that one. Um, <laughs> I uh, so oh, so I went into the recruiters. Office. I went yeah. into the army. I talked to all of them. So I, 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 I do my your research. Yeah, I do my research. I went into the Marines right away. I was like, not my energy. Who I can't do this right? Air Force. I was like, nah, it seems too lame to me. <laughs> I I'm talking like you know. That's I was the guy that navigated. I go, I go I, hey man, it's too. Late. I go Air Force. I go the boot camp six weeks. It's not even like a full. I go, it seems kind of lame. Like, but I mean, you wanted to still bunk with them. No, we ain't got nothing to do with them. <laughs> no, the Navy. The Isn't Navy. The, the, the ship with the planes and everything? No, that's that's our, part of it? Those, those are Navy. Planes. They're not that's Air Force. just yeah. Navy? Correct. The I second, was, this is crazy. I don't know if I the, the people, the people probably know this. The second biggest Air Force in the world is the Navy. Yeah. That would Pretty make crazy. no sense that's, to yeah. me, but sure. <laughs> um, so <laughs> I, I, go, the I go into the, uh, the Navy recruiter. I'm talking to the Navy guy. I'm all. I'm like, all right, sounds pretty good. Isn't it um, like Tom or something? Just some dude no, with a mustache. I forgot his name. Did have a mustache though. Checks out. Uh, then I went to the army, <laughs> and the army guy made it sound cool. Of course. Right. Yeah, and I again, think they have to. Yeah, yeah. And this hey, guy, you want to come job. get shot, dude? You're yeah. gonna fuck so many bitches. <laughs> this, this, yeah. <laughs> By the way, you're gonna go where there's none. <laughs> 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 but you will. <laughs> so I go. I'm I, the army and the navy guy are like battling over me now. Like separately, they're not fighting each other. You're just they're at a table. Me. You got the hats. You're doing yeah, like a college. I could have, <laughs> and they would have showed up. They so at one point I'm I a, a different. I keep on going back, and I'm like, all right, I want to, you know, give me the salesman pitch here. You know what I mean? Buy me pizza and shit. Are the offices near each other? Right down the hall. Oh, like same building. Yes. Oh, okay. And uh, it's so not like, well, like because the, there's one in like Chicktawaga, like the strip mall, mm-hmm. and it's yeah. the army. And then I I've, I've never seen a navy office no. in Buffalo. Well, I'm sorry, man. Once they got me, they were like, game over. We got the best. <laughs> there <they> go. <laughs> no this, one's going to top guy. Kyle. Uh, <laughs> no one can navigate. Like no, one's gonna, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one's going to top. We found our... <laughs> we found him. We found Kyle. <laughs> I, uh, I, so I, I'm talking to the Army recruiter. It was yeah. me and this other kid. I didn't know him. He was just hanging out Army recruiter stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah. And uh, the Army recruiter, you know, being super bro just cool. And oh, here's why I was almost going to join the or the army, because I was like I said, fat at the time. Yeah. Army was like, we want you to get down to 250 pounds. The Navy how, was like, how much were you? Uh, at that point, I was probably like 275. I had lost weight already. Yeah, but I, the the, <laughs> okay. <laughs> the army was like, we want you to get down to 250. The Navy was like 220, and I was like, that seems impossible to me. 220 is impossible? To get down to 220. I sure. go, it seems impossible. There's just no way I can. I'm 275 right now. I go, I already lost like 30 pounds. I go, I, there's just no chance I yeah, get down yeah, to 220. Yeah. So I go, I got I to gotta at least be realistic and join the Army. Okay. So I'm talking to the Army guy, and uh, me and this other kid, and he's telling us a story how he was in Iraq. <laughs> and he was on, the, on patrol in a Humvee, and he was on the 50 cal. Uh, and he's standing up, and they're patrolling around town, and he got shot in the head, in his helmet. He got shot in the head, fell, got up, put his helmet back on, and they told him where the sniper was, and he started like unloading into where the sniper shot came from. And this other kid was fucking jacked. You're like, he was like, hell yeah. Like, and I, I go, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, I went right into the Navy office. I, I go, am. this is for me. Stick into the boat. <laughs> yeah, I go, I go, this is not how you recruit. No. Me, at yeah. least. Yeah, this kid sure. fell for it. This other kid that I was with, 
fell for it. Hook line, hook, line, and sinker. He was amped and ready to go. I said, no chance. The Navy gives me the same benefits, and I don't get shot at. Yeah, no, that's perfect. <laughs> no. So I go, I went right into that. I really like, though, that the key takeaway from that message, which is probably what the U.S. government doesn't want their message to be. You know, they're all like, fight for your country, defend your freedom, and all that. And you're like, 220. You know, lose yeah. a little bit of weight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, the only thing I took away from that is, like, you had a career set out for you as yeah. a security guard at any <laughs> concert <laughs> ever. Three hundred six two. Yeah. You were set, and you went I done, the opposite yeah. direction. I could have done anything. I could have been a backyard wrestler slash security guard. <laughs> I think that's what most security guards do, right? 100%. They're backyard wrestlers. Have you seen the dudes at the mall? They Just in general? <laughs> no, like the security guards at the mall. Oh, yeah. Oh. They're all like on their ECW. Like, There's wrestling <laughs> at the <laughs> mall? That's what I was like, I don't know what mall you're Gallery doing. is really not doing well. <laughs> um, so you joined the military to lose yeah. weight. No, so- no, no. I lost weight to join the military because yeah, I was yeah, too yeah. dumb to go to college. <laughs> well... <laughs> Where yeah. you go, Where are you from? You, I know Buffalo. you're from Buffalo, but like the city of or like city of baby. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I shit my pants. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your favorite segment. John likes this part. Where you poo? So the, the, for some reason, we we did an episode, and I don't think we talked about it. But then this our first guest, all the way up until today, of most of them unprompted. Yeah. Just started talking about how they shit their pants. But it, okay. wait, so we have this is so we have like 15 recorded and of 15 there's probably 14 12 that are that have shitting stories and like we didn't realize we did, it was we happening. We never asked anyone and then like our one friend came and we ended up turning that into two episodes and he was like yeah, you guys haven't had anybody talk about shitting themselves in a while. It's really disappointing <laughs> and we're like <laughs> what? Okay, uh, <laughs> he's like, so I'm going to turn that around right now. <laughs> so what happened to you, kid? So, so you're eating as subpar I was saying, food. the food is terrible. And I ate, uh, I re- specifically remember, I ate a roast beef sandwich that was the most colorful rainbowed meat I have ever seen in my life. It like, was Like oily or like? Like, you know when, <laughs> when you ever see, like when... When deli meat starts scales? going bad and it oh, gets yeah. like, oh, that was, like, I mean, it was like legit, beef, like, yeah. yeah, it was, so, but I, I, your options are limited. Yeah. So I go, I, I'm just going to eat it. And yeah. so I ate it and I got, I was on watch on the bridge. Uh, everybody's there. <laughs> Looking for I'm those rocks. I'm important here in this, in yeah. my station. I'm important. Yeah, I cannot you can't, leave. You can't be sitting in your pants. Yeah, I cannot leave. And then. I shit my pants. And natural, just the whole, I thought it was a fart. It was a shit. <laughs> sure. And um, I go to the bathroom real quick, take off my <laughs> boxers. My I, I take off my boxers. Yeah. And, but I, in my head, I go, I can't throw it out. Someone will find these. There's 6,000 people. Yeah, someone will find and them. And only, can everybody go to the bridge bathroom too? Uh, I mean, technically anybody could, but like no one's walking up. 15 flights of stairs to right. the bridge. So there's a, there's how a f- many people write the name Kyle on their <laughs> underwear? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Private first class Turner. <laughs> so I go, so now I don't, I'm like, I don't know what to do with these. Right? <laughs> I don't know what to do with these. And Just toss them the window. I, I threw them into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Right into the ocean. Yes. I actually, I promise you, this is a true story, I put a D battery in them to make them heavier. <laughs> Because I had to throw them. It's not like I was next to the water. I was like, oop, dropping the water. I had to throw them from 100 hold on, feet hold up. Hold on, hold on. Were you on the nuke ship with this? Yeah. And you threw them? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I threw it. I mean, the bridge, if you look at the bridge, you're up there. Like I said, you're like over 100 feet from the water. I had to clear the, the, the uh, like, uh, what's it called? The, like, the landing deck. Some I had to dude, clear it. Some <laughs> Down on the deck, like, <laughs> yeah, the yeah, uh, yeah, for sure, a hundred percent, dude. Man, the stage, yeah. So you may have had a lot of shitting stories, but 
You ever heard someone pollute the <laughs> South <laughs> China Sea? You ever heard someone to directly admit to littering? <laughs> yeah, man. I killed animals. <laughs> Mammals, I guess. And then <sighs> you went back to watch. Fully nude. <laughs> I mean, I was wearing... My overalls. <laughs> Just buck naked. Sorry, Captain. <laughs> I can navigate better this way, but I can feel the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you gotta do, Kyle. Whatever you gotta How do. many knots we had? Yeah. <laughs> How many knots we had? I'm saying we go starboard, he's like, Hold but on. he's saying we go port. So. <laughs> it's, it's what, Mean Girls, the ESPN shit? <laughs> I can sense the sea. Uh, Damn, you just so tossed yeah, it. That just tossed it right into the ocean. Window in the bathroom? No. I Wait, where did you out. have to go? Yeah, you had to... There was like a catwalk area. <laughs> so I had to go I had to go back onto the bridge. <laughs> Somebody un- saw you. Somebody saw you and was a good enough person to not bring yeah. it up. Someone saw me throw something There's... overboard, which would have been... Like, I would have got arrested. Yeah. But then I would have been like... I would have had to be like, here's what happened. <laughs> I literally shit my pants. It's not like there were people... Like, I had to do it alone. I didn't yeah, sneak. Yeah, Why yeah. would I do that b- b- by myself? <laughs> no. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like I'm just into it. You couldn't have done like a, what's that? <laughs> yeah. I, no, but that's what I'm saying. That's the funny. It's like I literally had to, like, wind up and, and get a battery. put my gun in. You also it. had to go so find the battery. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had batteries. You want to know how the fire started? Had, like, flashlights and <laughs> oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I, had, I just took a, the heaviest Daytime. battery I had. Uh, hold on. Or was it nighttime? No, it was nighttime. Oh, okay. It was nighttime. All right. So I, it was a little less so there's less of a chance that someone, that, it, that someone saw me. You but should have just lit them on fire. They were there would have been no question. Just another <laughs> yeah. fire for no reason. And they're like, oh, well, this <laughs> happens from time to time. The ship you just can't was stop. Was this when you were <laughs> off the coast of Chile? <laughs> no, no, no. This was in the South China Sea. That's fucking in the middle ridiculous. of deployment. <laughs> shit my pants. Just the thought process of. Oh my god, dude! You shit your pants. I can't do anything with these. Can't put them in the trash. Little Battery ocean. It. Battery ocean. <laughs> Instead I mean, of just honestly, like, like, just give it a quick wash in the sink or like. But then what? <laughs> you try them out. Where? I'm on watch. Is there? Then you just, I would just throw them out. They don't have your name in them. No, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I would know. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm washing it out in the sink and shit. I or never just throw it out. The shit? <laughs> Underwear. Yeah, but I told you I didn't want to do it because in my head I was like, someone's going to find these. Here's yeah, why. They're going to go, oh, so much of the My division was in charge of cleaning the bathroom. Yeah. You could have found your that, own. I, I yes. take it, I, you got to take it back to Cullen's episode, though. A, a friend of ours, the one we were talking about before, like, you got to be scared that someone will find it and then you everyone will be punished or something, right? Like, who left would shit? You get everyone, anything. Like, would anything. you have gotten in trouble if you. <laughs> Potentially, right? Would you have gotten in trouble if they found out you shit your face? No. Yeah, because you're right. My name wasn't in them, but in my head, you but don't. But also, like, why would you get in trouble for pooping your pants on accident? <laughs> you wouldn't, <laughs> right? Unless you stood there with it. You could have. You <laughs> could probably get yelled at or you threw could've... it off the boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could have literally been arrested and like super dishonorably discharged, <laughs> or, or just put them in the trash. <laughs> Listen, I can't justify what I did then. <laughs> I can't allegedly. go back. Nineteen-year-old Kyle. Just, allegedly, I'm out here spilling my guts, <laughs> global guts, and nineteen-year-old yeah. Kyle, fresh two twenty, <laughs> didn't know what to do with himself. I had a little marble <laughs> fucking. I was beef. nervous. You've never been nervous and made the wrong decision. <laughs> yeah, but I've never polluted <laughs> because of it. I've never thrown a battery. Maybe it was water. healthy for the ocean. I doubt it. <laughs> I don't know, man. The fish shit in it. They do. Yeah, and they're like, the you got a point. A, a, <laughs> <laughs> Never thought of that, huh? Fish shit their pants. And they all don't the even time. wear underwear, bro. I mean, one thing if you're just squatting on the safety net, <laughs> dropping a dude. You know what? Fish aren't fighting terrorism either. He was. Holy That's true. Maybe moly! I, just, <laughs> I was able. That's to insane. Do that. Could you? It would have been. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> just it's the nice. logic. I understand you were freaked out and you mm-hmm. were 19. Fully, that logic is insane. Yeah. I, hey, man, I can't justify it. <laughs> I mean, joining the military is a little insane. Uh, sure. So Especially weird. joining the military yeah, I, mean, to I lose just told you pounds. I was too dumb to join the, <laughs> or to go to college. So it lines up with the stuff I've been saying. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. yeah there's, there's a through line here. They, there was another time uh, <laughs> I was... <laughs> I was so it, when I was in Singapore, yeah. they sold laser pointers that are illegal in the United States. Yeah, they're so powerful, they're illegal in the United States. So <laughs> this one was green, 
I yeah, hope this story little... translates. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I was, you know, in the middle of the ocean. It'll tra- I mean, you're English. It'll translate. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good callback, man. Um, I, uh, middle of the ocean, middle of nighttime. I told you, pitch black. Sure. Right? <laughs> <You're> just, illegal, <laughs> illegal laser pointer. 19 year old Kyle. 19-year-old fresh shit in his pants. Fresh, <laughs> fresh shit. Uh, no so underwear. Now that there's like, th- there's like three or four of us, you know, now we, uh, a guy has this laser pointer. We go, hey, let's go out there and uh, pitch black, middle yeah, of the ocean. I let's understand. go blow it off. That's fun, right? We'll, we'll <laughs> shoot off the laser. Oh, God. And it, must have reached the moon. <laughs> you, you are, I, we did it right away, and right away we were like, we fucked up. Yeah, this was soft for hundreds of miles. Some boat somewhere was like, oh, that's a laser. We're yeah. being targeted. So, oh, a thousand percent, and it was green. Like <laughs> oh. it was, it was, it illuminated the mm. entire sky in the middle of this ocean. And again, we're supposed. We're, I know the ship was huge, but like. You're supposed to be stealthy. <laughs> and yeah. we were like, <laughs> here we are, beacon. And just beacon. right away, we knew we fucked up. <laughs> and like, no, nothing ever came back to us. But like, we all walked in there and for the next like few hours, just sweat our ass. Like, someone's going to eventually yeah. call in and be like, hey, some green. Like, hey, did you see that? Came from here. And we, we just there's sat just, there. We're like, we so fucked up. So when this some... comes out and you get a phone call, <laughs> and yeah, we're like, yeah, yeah. When a black, we have some questions. <laughs> when a black SUV pulls up outside, your house. yeah, there's just like there's just you were you said you were by Singapore, we bought or you were in, in the Singapore. middle. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah we we were out in the ocean of this. We bought. There's those just like whatever the closest like landmass was. There's probably some news article from 2007, just like oh. the green flash. <laughs> Yo, I keep on thinking there was there's got to be some like some fisherman. Yeah, some dude out there sees it. Some pirate. And and then goes back to his family, and I just started an entire generation of, like, conspiracy. Or a religion. You started something. Somebody's life is different because of what I did. There's a picture of you on a wall in a local bar. Yeah. Or just a picture of a green light, just like a green line. <laughs> For sure. You're just going to do, like, a Thailand trip one day. It's like, <laughs> holy shit, guys. That's him. Yeah. He's a shadow it. figure like this. <laughs> <laughs> you just see. It's their Star Wars. It looks Wars. like the Star Wars. One, like, yeah. one hand laser pointer, one hand shitty underwear. <laughs> with, the, <laughs> with the battery. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Oh, that's so funny, man. It's uh, You're fat and you join the military. <laughs> I was fat. You're a big guy. Yeah. yeah. Big I didn't guys. join can... the military because of it. No. But did you? I, I want to. I've always wanted to ask you this too. I, I like uh, fellow big guys. <laughs> I shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to take a pause. <laughs> when when did you? Uh, when were you officially bigger than everybody? All your friends, <laughs> right away. Let's see, I was when eleven were pounds when I was born. <laughs> Dude, that's insane. That's too big. Yeah. So your mom's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my. Um, yeah, I'm in my. I it's been like that the whole time. Mm-hmm. I've always like there was a good part of maybe elementary school mm-hmm. where I was just the little chubby guy because I wasn't always this tall. Yeah. So like up until I was 11 pounds with six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking like, skeletal. Like slender man. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I remember distinctly in fourth grade. We were doing uh, like the fitness gram, the fit whatever the thing is, where it's like you do all mm-hmm. the push ups and you figure out oh, your yeah, BMI you do the box yeah, reach yeah. or whatever. Yeah. We were weighing ourselves, and I weighed 104 pounds, and no one else did. Yeah, everyone was 80 or less, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm 104," and they're like, "What? Yeah, <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? You're one of your triple digits <laughs> right now?" Yeah. I had one of those in the sixth grade. I was 275. Yeah. Yeah, wow. yeah. I mean, they, they weighed <laughs> Holy us. Shit. They weighed us, and in the sixth grade, I was two seventy five. That's yeah. And then middle school, I was pretty <clears throat> along. The, I was taller, but I wasn't the tallest. Mm-hmm. And then freshman year of high school, I was five eleven. And then uh, when I graduated, I was six six. And then that's a major growth spurt. Yeah, Pure it was me. Age. It was me and this other guy, Troy. We were the only two people that were because all the other the, all the kids that were tall in middle school mm-hmm. stopped, and we just fucking kept going. And then yeah, when I graduated, I was six six three thirty. That was that was first fat. Yeah. And then I lost a lot of it, and then I came back to America, and I was six six three sixty, and that was wild. Lord. <laughs> but we're cut, we're cutting it down. 
<laughs> chipping away at it. The uh, pr- the thing was the the wild thing was about being 360 was that I was st- the guy who's got a joke about going going to Planet Fitness because of the pizza. Yeah, dude. That's, yeah. I mean, how, you don't get to 360 yeah. in one day. Like, no. holy shit. Um, but that's no. Like, I I do go to like I run 20 minutes on the treadmill like every day without a problem. And so, like, yeah. when the doctor was like, "Dude, you're aggressively overweight," and I was like, "I don't believe you at all." Because you would think that I would have some hindrance somewhere. But you do have mirrors. <laughs> no, but listen. <laughs> you thought because you ran 20 minutes a day, there's no way you could be my, fat? My, pa- my pants are the same size and my shirts are the same size. As fat people? <laughs> As- <laughs> Sorry. Dude, you're sounding like Bert Kreischer. No, <laughs> as crazy when, I, right when, now. I, when I was in Spain... I think you're mixing up fat and, like, healthy. I think you think you're healthy, yeah. and the doctor's like, sure, but you're also wildly <laughs> fat. Sure. And you're like, no, I'm healthy. And he's like, I'm not saying you're not healthy. I'm saying you're fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the problem. Okay. <laughs> Just be clear. Because that's in, in, when I was in Spain, I was probably, like, 270. And I was wearing the same size of everything. So that's why it was like so shocking to find out that I was like 100 pounds more. It's just, it's just all in your gut. That's, that's just, gotta I don't know be where it, right? It yeah. Well, mm, big bones. Yeah. Huge bones. You know, that's, Huge bones. that's bullshit, right? That's what my mom says. Yeah. Huge fucking bones. Yeah. Um, but I'm losing it. <laughs> sure. Because yeah. we healthy. all are. You're for sure healthy. I'm for sure healthy. <laughs> <laughs> You're drinking water. That's good. Yeah. Flavored water. Flavored. <laughs> There's no sugar in it. Well, there was definitely sugar in the three, <laughs> in the three lint truffles I had earlier. Well, you know what? That's just to make sure um, you can keep going, though. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't join the military. Because... No. no. Yeah. Well, you couldn't. You don't make weight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also too tall for a lot of stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like the boats and shit, I'm too tall. Yeah. The pilot shit, I'm too tall. We had a guy on a ship who was 6'6". Six, six. Yeah, it's a good excuse for me, though. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good, for sure. Also, the army, the trenches and shit, I'm too tall. Yeah. And the Humvee. Like, I don't fit into a lot of stuff. There's no there's... helmet fitting on that head. Yeah. Mm. I don't mm-hmm. think there's many trenches anymore. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> I mean, I'm on board with you, man. Don't join. <laughs> I don't tell them they're doing no all right. I think I'm hiding. <laughs> yeah. I burned my drive card, man. Just right above it. <laughs> think I'm safe here? <laughs> <laughs> not good. Hey guys, not good. Spits out the bullet. <laughs> no <laughs> helmet. I don't recommend it. <laughs> um, that's wild. What did you? You yeah, you were fat here. Were you fat all the time? Yeah, you said you were fat in sixth grade. No, <laughs> were fat the whole time. Were you fat the whole time. How fat were you when you were born? I went. Uh, no, I was. <laughs> I was insanely small until I was like eight. Like I was so small, my parent or my mom took me to the doctor and said, "Like oh, you I'm you nervous. Had a problem. Yeah, I'm nervous. He's not gaining weight. Then, He's they, so skinny. They overcompensate. And they were and like." Then, just yeah. wait. <laughs> Just <laughs> give him some time. <laughs> Literally, and then like three years later, they were like, "What happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? You wait brought him back. They're like, we fucked up. <laughs> yeah, dude. What did we do wrong? It was everything. And uh, and then then I was fat from like fifth, from maybe like fourth or fifth grade to about junior year when I started to work out, and I at least looked like I was active while also being fat. But yeah. I looked like I was active. That's where I'm at. But yes, 100%. <laughs> healthy. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, but that time, uh, that fat time, uh, were you a bully? No. I was, I was horrible. I was super introverted. Really? I yeah. was horrible. I was such a bad bully. I was, a, as you said, I was 150 pounds heavier and a foot taller than everyone <laughs> around me. I was a monster. <laughs> I was... Literally, my friends, when we were growing up, my friends made me two-hand touch when we would play tackle football. Oh, yeah. Just like they were like, straight up told me, they are like, we're nervous about you falling on us. You're so going to kill us. Touch. That was the thing. That was people always got mad at me because I don't have a good awareness for how big I am, mm-hmm. even though I've been like this the entire time. I just like, if we do play football, we'll play like two-hand touch or light tackle. I am just tossing kids. Yeah. They're like, what are you fucking doing? And I was like, I'm fucking playing we football. That's why play. you went in as a camp counselor, though. So you could continue doing so it. Just, continue <laughs> <laughs> just little kids. <laughs> Throw them. We, uh, when we played like other neighborhoods. Yeah. 
other like kids, you know, other kids from other neighbors are coming. We you know, love joy. No, okay. oh no, northeast we, we versus <laughs> southeast. <laughs> you know, other other kids in the in the neighborhood yeah, would come yeah, play yeah, football yeah, with yeah, us, yeah. and I was legit like, I was the Avengers of like, we have a Hulk, <laughs> and. We got a Kyle. A hundred percent. All right. He's jacked up on Monster and he's ready to fucking go. We have a 300 pound man who's 13. <laughs> so and nope. we're just going to give him the ball. <laughs> Were you also, when did you grow a beard? When could you, when did you notice you could grow I a beard? I grew the molestache in high school. Hmm. What about you? Um, tr- fully after the Navy. Was yeah. when it when it filled in. I remember I had facial hair right before I went in the neighbors. We're gonna party city, <laughs> and I had a thing. I had a thing here, yeah. And I shaved it because sure. I was leaving for the yeah. military. So I just go, I'm, I'm gonna shave it now. Yeah. And I is one of those things where I go, man, everyone's gonna see me be like, dude, you shaved. Literally, no one even noticed noticed I shaved <laughs> you had, anything. You had like yeah. four hairs there. Nothing, and I thought yeah. I had like a thing. No. Like I shaved. You could see. You it, thought no you else. looked yeah. good. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I. Yeah. That I in my head, people are like, "Yo, Kyle has a beard." Like, no, you. And then I now. shaved, and no one knew. So basically, what you're trying to say is, you thought you were Jack from that movie Jack with Robin Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you looked like an adult. <laughs> yes, but yeah, you were 100%. a child because that was I was a six foot six, three hundred pound dude with just a baby face because I couldn't grow a beard until I was like twenty two. Mm-hmm. So I was just fucking just trying to buy alcohol, and they're like, "You're something's <laughs> yeah. happening here." <laughs> yeah, I was a huge loser. I yeah, no, I mean, I didn't look good. I had wireframe glasses. <laughs> And just the world was against you. Yeah, really. You know, the Navy made you shave. Sure. Anyway, so it just none of it worked out. But uh, I do. My friends and I, we first started drinking alcohol when we were like twelve or thirteen. Sounds about right. And uh, we would go to this place on Main Street in Buffalo called Splash, which is no longer there. Where was it? Main Street. That's a big street, buddy. Yeah. Well, I mean, what do you want me to do? You're gonna go. No, you can it's legally just a buy general it. area. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 I uh, it was this place called Splash, and they would let us buy alcohol like kids. And uh, I remember going in there, and they just didn't even question it because you're just a huge dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. then I do remember one of my friends who also had a, he he was small. He was a normal sized kid. Yeah. He went in there to buy alcohol. He was like 16 maybe at the time. Yeah. And uh, I remember the woman goes. The, he puts the beard on, and she goes, how old are you? And uh, he goes, 20. Not even the right age. He goes, 20. <laughs> and she, and she, goes, she goes, literally, she goes, how old are you? And he goes, 19. Still the wrong, still <laughs> and, a lie, and, and worse. still not 21. And, like, worse, no reason. Yeah. And, then, and then she goes, how old are you? And he goes, I'm 18. Again, She's asking line. you to say 21. And then she finally goes, Dude, how old are you? And he goes, 21? And she goes, fuck, fine. <laughs> give him the beer. I feel like at that point, it's like, I can't give this to yeah. you, you idiot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it, it was just so. Right, I, way. And right away, he told us that story. And it was almost like you with the shit story. It was like, why didn't you just throw him out? And we we're like, <laughs> why didn't you just, you lied. You should have about said being 21. 20. The first you lied. Why did you not start with 21? Yeah. And he goes, he said, I thought if I was close enough to 21, she would just appreciate that I didn't lie. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, that to this day, I'm like, that's fair. In my head, I go, that's fair. No, dude, if you're if you're I gonna lie, you might sense. as well do it in your. I favor. mean, I hear you, but I understood. <laughs> I mean, Again, I you're dealing with logic. a dumb high school kid. Oh man, who's like the logic is gonna trying be trying to like, buy a six yeah. or there was, Jenny. <laughs> there was a place in Syracuse that didn't really care what you did. But then one kid wore his high school class shirt, and it was the year uh, that it was. That's stupid. And he's like, I can't sell it. Because like, for the cameras, he's like, I can't yeah, yeah. sell you anything. And then he, his dad sued the place, and they shut down. What? Because he's, like, they, he's like, they've been selling alcohol to minors. Like, my friends all buy there. So he got it fucking shut down. What they a did piece s- of shit. Yeah, dude. Wow. That he ruined it for sucks. everybody. Yeah, he fucking sucks. Is he still alive? Probably. He's probably Fuck a, that dude. guy. Probably a fucking. If that's you. And you're a listener, though. Thanks. For Shame. That. Listening, but also <laughs> remember to subscribe. But also, fuck off <laughs> if you want to be on the, the podcast. <laughs> share your story. If you want to be here, only so if you f- shit your pants. <laughs> you want to be here so <laughs> I can <laughs> fucking fight you. We are not the poo podcast. It just happens. You're the poo um, podcast. <laughs> what do you? Well, you sent me something 
Because, you, yeah, you told me about the Navy, you told me about shitting your pants, and then mm. you threw me for a loop with... something with your dad. Your dad's funeral. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Which were two very different yeah. topics. Love dad stories, man. You guys ever talk at a funeral? You guys no. have to speak? I've never spoken at a funeral. I don't think so. I think you would remember. <laughs> you would be <laughs> <able to remember. laughs> I you feel like I, I've read like a like a passage, out. I think, oh, okay, but, but you, I've you never, never had, had to, to like speak. I, maybe I said something like small after, but I don't okay. think I like was old enough Man, to know anything. No, more. I. So my dad, my dad died in 2019, right? So I, I had to speak at his funeral. Yeah, and uh, Pre- yeah, I. My dad uh, was a biker, like a legit in a club. Oh yeah, biker, and uh, so there were like 150. Bikers, Whoa, wow. like drinking beer, yeah. all on their motorcycles, plus my family. Yeah. And uh, so it was a wild funeral, yeah. to say the least. Sure. And um, so I didn't write anything. <laughs> I go, I'm, I'm just going to wing it. I'm just going to wing it. I go, I go I'm first a comedian. Off, I speak yeah, for a living. I go, I, I, you know, I'm a comic. <laughs> I don't know if that came out you know, yet to tell people of like why I thought I could riff a thing. Uh, so I go, I go, I can wing it. One, he's my dad. Yeah, Two, I'm him. like, there's two other people speaking. I just got to be better than one of them. You know what I mean? I like that. I like that you're at your father's funeral and you're just trying to one up the other. <laughs> yeah, I'm a comic. <laughs> so I, so the first guy goes up. He's my cousin. Yeah. Um, or he, my, he was my dad's cousin. He's like, yeah. the, he's like he's the your, family he's storyteller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a little older. He's a family storyteller. Sure. He tells. Perfect stories. I give him your number. You guys have him on this podcast. <laughs> yeah. He's an amazing storyteller. He's crying. He's telling these stories about... Because he was a kid. My dad used to watch him when he was a kid. So he's like, he knew my dad yeah. very well. And I would be like, oh, well, he crushed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right? I'm like, you're just, you're I'm just like, okay. in the wings fucking sweating. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like he all right. Well, as he gets off stage. Clearly, like, follow that. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so the next guy, the next guy is, uh, he was part of my dad's club. Sure. And I go, what are the chances this guy's good? 100%. He's, he's going to be good. He's a motorcycle. 150 of his friends are there. <laughs> right? He goes up, and again, motorcycle guy. Tough looking. He's in a vet. He's, he's in like the their vest. He's on? got cries the past, everything off. on. Cries his eyes out. Whoa. The whole biker's crying. Everyone's going, I go, are you fucking kidding me? They're both great. <laughs> These guys are pussies. I go, I should have wrote something, dude. <laughs> You're like, shit. I I'm just trying to write out a note. <laughs> by the time he's going, I'm like, here's what I got. <laughs> I'm like, ask my brother. He's like, do you got any good stories about dad? <laughs> These guys are great. Man. Yeah. And so I go up. How much time did you have to do? Winging it. They let me go, whatever I wanted. Yeah. And so I go up and uh, I fucking crushed. Oh, okay. I had everyone dying laughing. Oh, okay. You thought this was going to go different. This is me bragging about crushing thought, at my dad's funeral. <laughs> yeah. No. I no. thought I thought crushing was going to be crying. No. I didn't think crushing was going to be no, dude. <laughs> laughter. I'm demolishing. So, ew. I'm... <laughs> What's the deal with dead people, hey? So, dude, so crushing. I'm literally the, the guy who runs the funeral home. Who like does the thing where he pretends to know the the, the person? He's like, hey, he we got a first. six o'clock. You wanna? He literally was like, "That's the best I've ever seen." And I go, "Yeah, man, the second funniest person in Buffalo." <laughs> like, <laughs> obviously. And uh, but here's how shitty I am, and of it like my dumb comic brain. Sure. I was like, I should have recorded that. <laughs> I could have put that out on the internet and could've went viral. Could have clipped also, it. Also, there was there was you know you get off stage and go, oh shit, I wanted to say that. Yeah. I almost wanted to be like, can I go back up? <laughs> There's stuff I left Jesus out. Christ. That's how shitty of a person I was. But I just wanted to bring up if uh, if you guys ever had a talk uh, at a funeral, if you uh, how how well you did or not. I've never talked to a funeral. It'll happen. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're going to try to be funny? No. If it's funny, I think it depends on who it is. How they die. <laughs> you know what hey, I mean? casting of clothes. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of an uggo. No, I think it'll. I think it'll depend on who it is and like who that person was to me. Yeah. Cause if, like, they, if they were supposed to die, yeah. You know what I mean. Like Versus, my dad was old, right? So it made sense, right? Yeah, and not like a twenty-year-old. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> but even then, maybe a couple. <laughs> maybe a couple. Of zingers, who, little zingers. Little zingers. It depends who that twenty-year-old was. Yeah, if you they know. were, if they were funny, or if they were a piece of shit. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I would write it before. I think you wouldn't riff. 
I would write it and then I'd probably bail on it right before I went out. I, Once the first two people did great again. Yeah. Like, well, and also just like, because that's, I mean, that's like the way I do it for some sets sometimes. And then I'll write it out. And then, yeah, just if the room feels different, it's like, all right, you know what? I hear you. We're not going to show do that. up with one set and then you see everyone in the crowd's old and you're like, well, I'm not going to talk about butt stuff. Right. 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 They're probably not going to laugh. At yeah. That. I was like, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to do the B side material. Today. I, uh, I was not asked to do a funeral, speak at a funeral, but my brother <laughs> for, at his wedding, for a reason. <laughs> he wanted me to say something. Claps or say <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted me to say something. Cause I was like his co best man. Didn't mm. even make best man. I made co best <laughs> man, but, but uh, this is how bad I am at writing. So this is why yeah, I know I could ch- never do comedy. You've heard the joke so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But sometimes they hit, and they're a little chuckle or whatever, and a lot yeah. of times they don't. Whatever. That's just my sense of humor, too. Sometimes I say shit because I think your reaction is hilarious to me, and that's it. Hey, man. I, I hate your slang. Sorry. But, uh, <laughs> it's okay. it's so, our fault, not his fault. So I, uh, I write this thing, and my, my mom's like... Let me read it. And I was like, and I'll never forget the first line is, <laughs> Dave, you're my brother, and you'll always be my brother. What the fuck was that? So that's my mom was like, call an opener. Well, so, so my mom was like, that's really good. And I was like, uh, wait, this guy's your brother, right? <laughs> I was like, I don't want people Hello, to know. I, people know who I am now. And she's like, You'll they always, definitely know who you are now. That. You'll <laughs> always be my brother as if there's a threat that he wouldn't be. Dave, you'll be my brother, and you'll always be my brother. But if you made me co-best man in the second <laughs> yeah, wedding, yeah, yeah. I swear on so God. So naturally, I ripped that one up. Sure. And I was like, I'm just going to wing it, much like you. Except I just talked about the things he did to me as a child of him beating the shit out of me. Oh. And it was not funny at no, all. No, that's like that scene in, in, what's it, Wedding Crashers? When Rachel McAdams yeah. starts to give the speech, and it's just not hitting at all. Yeah, She's yeah. like... We all need an Owen Wilson in the back going, from the heart. <laughs> no. <laughs> How'd that feel? Probably not good. Dude, there's a, <laughs> there's, there's a reason why when I, when I became a musician, I chose the drums because I can hide behind shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. And like, yeah, I sing, but like, I still get to hide behind yeah. everything. I sing, but the kick drum is louder. <laughs> that would have been great if... You gave your brother's speech, but you're like, I need to be in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> no one can look at me. I need to be in the other room. You just have a wireless mic. You just turn around. <laughs> You'll always be my brother. And he's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> Why are you on the God mic? You don't right get now? it. <laughs> Why are you on the God mic? <laughs> you don't get it. You're married now. You think you're not my brother? You're <laughs> yeah. my brother. <laughs> our friend our friend Charlie fucking officiated a wedding and crushed it because his biggest laugh was by the power vested in me by the Universal People's Church. Dot com yeah. <laughs> and just fucking hit. That's funny. That's good. Um, have you ever officiated a wedding? No, but I really want to. You ever officiated a funeral? <laughs> I mean, I, I crushed at one, so <laughs> does that count? I would. I, you, you have put, to remember at least one line of it. What do you was put it? that in your credits? My, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, the opening line murdered. Here's the, no pun intended. Uh, <laughs> he, he was murdered? not murdered. Okay. No, that'd be crazy. Oh that'd be crazy. My opening Savage. line. Savage. My, my opening line, murdered, just like my dad. <laughs> my opening line was, uh, this is my dad. He'll always be my dad. <laughs> <laughs> but if you put me third in the speeches yeah. again, I swear. This has been story time, everybody. <laughs> I uh, my opening line because that day my dad was a very <laughs> rough around the edges. Yeah, as yeah. a baby boomer Fucking dad, biker, of course he yeah, was. he's a biker. He's a liked <laughs> drinking a lot. He was an asshole, but uh, everybody. He was one of those guys who was like sweet to everybody else, and you're like, why can't I just be everyone else? <laughs> oh. Right. So <laughs> at the funeral, all his friends, all like his nieces and nephews, they're all coming up to me, and everyone's saying around the same thing of like. You know, like oh, I loved your dad. He was so sweet and nice, yeah. and he was always there. And I, and then so I go up there, and I, and I was like, you know, um, I've been talking to uh, a lot of you all night, and uh, you know, you've all said uh, roughly the same thing about you know how just sweet and nice my dad was, and I just want to make sure we're all talking about the same guy, right? <laughs> and it just loosened the tension because everyone is just crying for yeah, twenty yeah, minutes man. while the other two spoke. That's the thing, and it just crushed and i was like he's literally here and i was yeah. like 
this is the guy, right? Like you all, you're all at the right funeral, right? Yeah. And uh, from that point on, then I just told stories about him, and you know, Doing ended stuff. it sweet, yeah. sure, as you do. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the stories were great. It was all fun. <laughs> you're not gonna end it like any died divorced. So, yeah. <laughs> and everyone understood that he was still your father. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, it was clear. <laughs> I did have my other dad there, though, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> uncle dad or stepdad? I had my uncle dad there. <laughs> oh, Lord. <sighs> that is the thing, though. Like, with the, with the two crying speeches before, you could have doubled down and made people cry more. Mm-hmm. And then, I don't know. I don't feel good when I cry for that long, you know? No. So, that's, yeah. But I think that's I think that's the comic in us, you know, just yeah. trying to just trying to make Always people, trying. I trying did. I, I should have fucking recorded, dude. I would have went viral. Dude crushes at dad's eulogy. I would w- You're telling me that wouldn't? No, that's 100%. the title. And it yeah. would have got. Oh, that would absolutely. For sure. Yeah. Think of any stupid, bullshit, annoying wedding fucking yes. speech. There's some so bride, many, and some... people are like, the funniest speech at a wedding ever. Yeah. And then oh they have God. millions of plays. Have you ever no, seen it's... John's YouTube channel? <laughs> Because it's got his speech on there. Well, we, that's private. Dave, you're okay. my brother. <laughs> that's a private. Dave, you're my brother. You'll always be my brother. Hey, that fucking sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Is your sister yeah. your sister? You, YouTube took down the thumbs down for your... Yeah, yeah for sure. They are like, like, this guy's going to kill himself. <laughs> we <laughs> got to take these we thumbs down. <laughs> well, <laughs> and that's why now I end every shitty story or joke with, and then I found $20. <laughs> it works. I'm happy for you. Because cool. something good happened. See? He gets it. Fuck. Because nothing else is good has happened. <laughs> You're a bad friend. Whatever. Uh- <laughs> $20. You're my money. You'll always be my money. <laughs> Until I spend you. On what a- other uh, segments you get? You guys got through That's stuff. it. What was, that's the it. One, what was the other segment? Was it the poop segment? That was the poop that was stuff. It, yeah. Okay. The cool. reason why I said, now everybody, your favorite segment okay, yeah. is because I last night. I forgot we actually talked about that. Uh, we did. So two, two nights and ago, I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> two nights ago, I shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> two nights ago, I was editing was for that? the podcast that's coming out this week. And uh, I was like, I never made the like sound bite for it. Mm. So I made the sound bite. <laughs> I was telling Max, this might be the first one. No, no this week will be the first one. Tomorrow's will be the first one. Sorry, but uh, Sorry. it's literally a guitar just going, wing, wing, and then in the background it goes, "Where'd you poo?" But it's my voice <laughs> six different ways. <laughs> so it's like, "Where'd that's you good, poo?" <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. I think that's great. I think it's hilarious. You realize at some point you'll you may run out of shit stories, and one of you will have to shit your pants. I don't think we will. I don't think so, man. When I was think last... everybody has a shitting story. When and was I, uh... anytime we <laughs> ask someone? Doing it right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when was the last time you shit your pants as an adult, Kyle? That was it. Mm. That was it. I, when I was in New York, I was dangerously close a few times, like yeah. coming to terms with it. <laughs> like that's how my, that's how far I got with it. <laughs> He's where like, it, I gotta find a D battery. Where, I gotta, yeah. I gotta <laughs> find a battery. <laughs> Fuck! I, just tossing it in the Hudson, <laughs> man. I, I remember I remember one Central time Park. one Somebody's time uh, <laughs> in in New York. If no one's ever rode the subway in New York, it's literal hell on earth. Oh, it's the worst. Yeah. It is the worst thing that's ever. And <sighs> like sometimes the trains <laughs> just take an hour out of their pants. On that is subway. true. Yeah, yeah. There are. It, it'll take an hour, and you yeah. just there's no bathroom on the subway. You just have to hope you don't have to go to the bathroom yeah. for like an hour. And there was one time I got up to go to work. And the trains were running late. They and I had to take it from Brooklyn to Manhattan. Then I transferred to another train and took it to the Upper East Side. And I was middle of winter. I so I have my coat on, packed train, but I'm sweating because I have to shit so bad. <laughs> White knuckle in it. Yeah, yeah, profusely sweating. Yeah, I'm I'm st- I'm starting to mumble to myself. <laughs> Like, cause I'm like, w- maybe this will help me not shit. Yeah. So I'm like, I, I just come on. Fuck. And then you I'm just look like the idiot. crazy dude who's sweating too much and talking yeah. to sweating himself. Sweating too much with his legs crossed and pushed <laughs> all the way. No, out. I was standing. It made it worse. There were no seats, so I'm standing, and I fart a little. <laughs> well, I go, I have to fart a little. You gotta, release, you gotta release a little pressure. I, yeah, I had to help myself a little, and a pack train, and the girl next to me. Just start. In a, this is a New York City train. <laughs> this girl next to me just starts going, 
which one of y'all dirty motherfuckers farted? <laughs> and you start sweating more. I start, yeah, but I go along with it. I go, I literally go, oh, that stinks, man. That's it. Like, I'm on her side now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's no way she, she didn't know it was me. She, knew. She, she may have looked over when I was like, that does stink. And then saw a guy profusely sweating <laughs> while pale as hell. And mumbling, oh, you fuck, she, just don't fucking shit. <laughs> she can feel the heat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <my laughs> Dude. And then I got off the train, and I started to, I was like, I, I had like six blocks till I got to work. Oh, no. I started to run. I made it 30 feet, and I go, that's not going to happen. <laughs> so then I started duck walking all the way in, got into work, shit immediately. Just, I mean, like three flushes, shit yeah. immediately. Got out of the bathroom, and they were like, Kyle. Hey, we need you to go back to Brooklyn. <laughs> and at literal three minutes from my apartment, they needed me to go to. That you, sucks. Yeah. That happened at that happened at Helium the other day. Uh, during the mic. I was off, I was in the back, and I it just it like you just hit. Oh yeah. And I was like, all right, I have to do three minutes. I can do three minutes, but I needed I told Kat, I was like, can you just have the door open so I can just <laughs> zoom right in here? And yeah. I, I did that and I had to. It was two flushers. You don't, uh, your, um, uh... It went away when I was on stage. Yeah, I was like, it doesn't go away when you No, it stage. did. It went away while I was on stage. I was fine. But then immediately when I got off stage, it just kicks back in. Yes. And so, like, the time that I was up there, I was good. But then, like, right after, I was like, all righty, guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you dance with the devil I, a little I'm, too close right now. I'm surprised. The number of times I've gone on stage where I've really had to piss. And, yeah. Uh, and I, but it's just one of those where I'm like, well, the, the guy before me... Or the host has the light. Yeah. So I'm like, I, he might do 30 seconds and I can't be pissing. And so I just go on stage and I've never had to leave stage. I've no. seen it. Yeah. But I've never, and it always surprises me because I, yeah. they, like I said, like there are times where I'm like, I really got to fucking go. And I'm just, it's just one of those where I'm banking that my body's going to shut it down. Well, like you can't time it either before. No. Because you're no. like, oh, I can hit the bathroom now. He's got five minutes or 10 minutes or whatever time. If I go to the bathroom, I know I know his closer, so I know when I can go do that, you know, yeah. and all that. But then it's like, as soon as you open the gate, it's like, all right, I have to go again. Yeah. You should really, it, I mean, it's so dumb that I haven't learned in over 10 years of just being like, just go. Yeah. It's before you go on stage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just force Clear it out. out. Right. Yeah. It's not like you're going to go from like, I don't have to pee to like, I have to be right fucking now. I'll be back, guys. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be like, it's going to give you a, at least some heads up where yeah. you're like, well, let me get some out. Right. You should be aware of your body enough to yeah. know yeah. when you're going to piss. All right. Yourself. We need a palate cleanser, a cleanser um, before we let you go. Uh, you said you have a bunch of stories about your dad. Pick your favorite one. Yeah. You said something Just, uh, about dad's Just clean the palate, then we'll, uh, we'll sign out, yeah. sign off. Sign so on. Farewells. Aim. Okay, my Going favorite. Hot time. My favorite dad story. This to me, this describes my. Is this dad. about your dad or someone else's dad? My dad, his brother. <laughs> <laughs> It'll always be my brother. <laughs> I. My favorite dad story. It's his dad, actually. This, this, uh, <laughs> this I think describes my dad uh, perfectly. <laughs> this might be two stories to describe. My That's dad. fine. Dad. So, <laughs> so I I played little league baseball growing up. And uh, <laughs> heavy hitter, <laughs> yeah, I was uh, <laughs> super slow though. Yeah, as no, you can imagine, that's, I played baseball too. Couldn't run for shit. Hit, couldn't run. You could for hit shit. fucking like a lot champ. of lot of ghost doubles. Runners. Oh that, yeah, that would have been a lot of home runs <laughs> if I was even remotely the size of a normal sized child. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, so my dad, my dad was the standard, as you could guess, the dad that was always yelling, and the other parents were like, "Can you relax?" <laughs> The guy's like 10 years old. Right. He's, this isn't the major leagues, buddy. So one day, I lived close enough to the park where when I got older, I could walk up to the park. My yeah. dad didn't have to take me. Yeah. And, um, you still got the ride, though, because of the... Well, here's, here's, fat, here's a side bike. dad story. My dad, big biker, as I said, used to ride me uh, or uh, drive me on the motorcycle. Yeah. Right? And so it was cool. I, it was, uh, I loved it. It's so fun being on a motorcycle. You're a kid. You show up on a motorcycle. You feel cooler. Yeah. Right, all the other kids are like, "That's badass." Cause I was on a motorcycle. I show up, uh, or right about fifth grade when I hit my first growth spurt. Yeah. My dad was like five nine. I got up to five nine in about the fifth grade. Yeah. And my dad said he can't take me on the motorcycle this year. And I said, "Why?" And he goes, "You look. <laughs> we look like two men on a motorcycle." 
And you I, but like I was too young to understand that. I was like, do you just not like me? And I ain't like, <laughs> like no I, man put his hands around my yeah, waist. That's you didn't like my partner. Yeah. I, and I just didn't understand it. So I, 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 it was the first time it hurt where I was like, I, what? <laughs> We're supposed to be cool, man. Dad, you yeah. know, but you'll always be my dad. <laughs> yeah, it's like, not now. <laughs> not, not on now. the mic. Um, so I walk up. Uh, or, you know, I'm You're at the plate. Now, now we're playing the game. No, I'm in yeah. left field. You're left field. Yeah, they and, never put uh, the big kids on the infield. No, they were like, you're huge. You could probably throw a mile, right? And I go, yeah. I go, uh, yeah, 100%. I can throw this ball as far as you want me to. You're also not running for the ground. <laughs> no. So He's I, the uh, only one with ice on the shoulder <laughs> after the game. <laughs> um, I'm in left field, yeah. and now I see my dad walking up. And uh, so I lo- I'm looking at him, and I hear the ding of the bat. So I look towards the plate. And I see everyone looking at me. <laughs> so I look up just to see the ball going over my head. So I turn and I run. I grab the ball. Yeah. I gun it in. And I look right at my dad. And he literally just goes and leaves the park. <laughs> just went home. I walked home Not alone. Now you're dead no more. <laughs> just went home. <laughs> just left me. Not you, today. You fucked it. <laughs> yeah. Just straight up left me. Uh, that was my dad in a nutshell, that's and that's funny. why I crushed at his funeral. <laughs> <laughs> you had one job. Yeah. Um, that's great. But yeah, that's it. That was a bit, that was, <sighs> that's my that's my favorite dad story because it that's describes. That's good dad story. That's great, man. That's good dad. Do you have uh, anything you want to plug? When does this come out? A month? Probably no, this will come out in two, two weeks. weeks from tomorrow. Two weeks, uh, yeah. End of January. Uh, if you like the Buffalo Bills, listen to my uh, Buffalo Bills uh, podcast called In the Hunt Cast. Oh yeah, we're uh, semi-successful, and if you like, someone described our podcast one time as you know uh, when you go to a Bills game and after the Bills game where the traffic is too heavy and everyone's super hungover at that point and you're just sitting around talking about the game. That's our podcast. First time, long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you're ex- don't expect if you like uh, having fun listening and not we don't take callers. That's pretty big. Because they're the worst. That's huge. Yeah, yeah. We don't take callers, and we don't make sense. And that's fun. Sometimes you need a nice, as you said, a palate cleanser. Because yes. you're usually probably blitzed by the end of the game. Me? Uh, not so much anymore. Not when I'm older. But yes. <laughs> 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 not, not blitzed, but I am sometimes very, uh, my voice is very hoarse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so whatever that means. But yeah, listen to that, and uh, follow me on Instagram. And uh, What's your Instagram? Kyle Turner is fun. There we go. That's a good one. And uh, check out a show. Unless <laughs> Max is on it. But then you get We're it. We're on a show. <laughs> no, this will come out after. We're on the one on Sunday. 22nd. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm not on that one. Yeah, you are? No, I'm off now. I'm going to the Bills game. Sorry. This isn't great. Priorities. Listening. This is inside baseball. Priorities. Yeah. All right. Find me everywhere. MaxKazer.com. Uh, Storytime pod across all platforms. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for listening, guys.